Doombots, it's time to talk about Skirmisher. I like to talk about Skirmisher right in the middle because that's kind of where it lies. It's not an incredibly aggressive and damaging ISO 8 class, but it's also not a completely defensive and sustainability based ISO 8 class. It's really the only control based ISO 8 class we have because that's what it does. It attempts to control. Let's take a quick look at Skirmisher at all of its levels and get a real understanding of how it works and why it works. So looking at level one of Skirmisher, it's very simple. On primary hit, apply vulnerable to primary target. These effects can also occur on assists and counterattacks. Now, some people get confused about what primary hit means and primary target. This is incredibly simple. If for any reason your action interacts with the person you've targeted, that's what primary hit means. It doesn't have to do damage. It doesn't have to directly affect them in a way. Um, Falcon's special is, is an example. Uh, Ebony Maw's special is an example of an ability. There are quite a few that uh, kind of pick the character that you're targeting, uh, even though they might be generic AoEs that would be considered a primary hit attack. Now, by all means, go ahead and put the level one on any character you like and go ahead and test it in Blitz and you'll get a real good understanding. It literally costs nothing to swap between the level ones of all the abilities, so go for it. But it's a very wide and, and open conversation about what it can do at level one. And again, it really just applies vulnerable. The benefit that you get from a lot of this is the fact that it applies the vulnerable uh, on counterattacks and on assists. So that opens up an entire pool of characters who either put their own counterattacks on or are constantly being called to assist, like Ms. Marvel, to add additional value to their kits. Uh, at level three, it adds a brand new ability to this. Most of the things we've discussed already just kind of increase what they already do. This changes what they already do. At level three, on primary hit, same rule applies, if the target is vulnerable already, clear one positive effect. These effects can also occur on assists and counterattack. That's crazy. You basically now have an ability tied to a character that can remove a buff. That We were just talking about how good that is on basics. Having it just as an ability that can happen, whether or not you're directly attacking the character, whether or not you're even called, like, doing anything, you're just called to an assist or a counterattack, huge bonus. Then at level 5, this might be the best level 5 ISO 8 in the game right now. Uh, on primary hit, if the target is vulnerable, clear two positive effects, but overall, gain 50% focus. 50% focus is insane. Uh, it's, it's enough to make Star-Lord not terrible anymore. The downside is level five Skirmisher is pretty hefty cost. So you really want to make sure it's on a character that you're going to be using quite a bit, maybe like an Ebony Maw or part of a major team or someone you use in a lot of game modes because it costs quite a bit to get any character to level five of any ISO 8. At least level five Skirmisher is so unique that it's worth it. And again, as with all of Skirmisher, every time you upgrade, it does something hugely beneficial to the character. So that's where it is. And those are generally the ideas of where they're good. Let's take a look at some characters that I have Skirmisher on, kind of talk about why and, and how they work for the teams. So pretty simple. Um, as we already discussed, Ebony Maw of his entire ability pool, his he doesn't really benefit from having crit, as he doesn't do much damage. Same thing with Striker, having multiple attacks aren't going to be too beneficial, although not useless. But Skirmisher, well, that's where things get really interesting, because both his special and his ultimate, while they do hit everybody, on primary hit, they will apply a vulnerable or remove buffs. Especially if the character does have added benefit from increased focus, you can only see how the sky's the limit when you're adding Skirmisher. Proxima, a little bit different. While Proxima's basic already does remove buffs, 
One of the cool interactions with this ability is based on how Skirmisher and Striker interact. For example, if you have Proxima and Corvus Glaive, Proxima has Skirmisher and Corvus Glaive has Striker. When Corvus Glaive attacks a character, it will call, based on Tier 4s, Proxima to assist him. Proxima will assist him and put a stack of Vulnerable on. Because it's all considered one action, Corvus Glaive will then see that ability that she put on and get a bonus attack. Kind of crazy, I know. The same thing happens with Ms. Marvel, uh, especially if you pair her with a character like Black Panther. Ms. Marvel will assist a character on her own and put a vulnerable stack, or her assist will remove a buff if they already have a vulnerable stack. But because she's constantly assisting, if you're targeting the same person, every time anyone takes an action, she's also assisting and either putting vulnerable on or removing a buff from that person so huge impact to what she does with her both young avengers and just generic brawlers teams massive increase in value to her kit mordo very similar mordo doesn't do a lot of damage mordo's about control so the extra focus you can get at level five is huge for him that said if you use his special to blind slash stun a character that also either applies vulnerable or removes buffs from that character, that's a big one-sided swing. Most of his attacks are AoE, so you can hit on multiple different people, and it's really good at getting rid of taunters as well, because the first AoE will remove the, or will place vulnerable on whoever's taunting. Someone might be able to take that taunt off. If not, Mordo's special will be able to clear any kind of buffs on them as well as stunning them. Huge increase. And Okoye, um, I think it goes without saying that the way she works with her team, the Wakandans, is a little lackluster, but with a high investment in Skirmisher, it stands to reason that she would do her mediocre job a little bit better, she'd have higher focus, and more importantly, she'd be more inclined to assist and her assists would be more meaningful when they happen. There are plenty of other characters that uh, increase a ton of value. Carnage is a character that can use Skirmisher very well. Uh, Scream could use Skirmisher very well. Toad uses Squ Skirmisher very well. Uh, all in all, Skirmisher is one of the most unique abilities, and I can't wait to see what the next level of ISO 8s add to it, because it's already probably the best setup and the best control ability we have in all of ISO 8s. But do me a favor, let me know who you have Skirmisher on, and who I should start putting Skirmisher on. Or, more importantly, if you don't like Skirmisher on any of these characters, let me know why. Let me know if there's a better deal, because none of this is written in stone. That's one of the beautiful things about ISO 8s. They're customizable. You really don't lose too much by changing things around. So, have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.